Hey guys, thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. Have you guys tried Japanese inspired food? Because you're in luck, we are on location at Q Grill. Let's go inside and meet the owners. Hello. Hi, Calvin. Hey, welcome to Q Grill. <laughs> thanks for having us. Wow, this is a nice truck. Oh, thank you very much. All right. So what are we making today, Calvin? So today we got uh, Treat here and myself, Calvin. Uh, we're just, uh, we're owners of Cube Grill here. Uh, today we'll be, we've got our special feature actually. Uh, we're doing an exclusive uh, premiere drop of our uh, food truck box that's only available on our food truck and it's available this summer right now. So he's kind of putting together a little bit of uh, the additions here and he'll uh, kind of go through that real quick then. Go ahead, Tree. All right, hi guys. So I'm gonna make it now. This is gonna be a uh, spicy mayo right here. This one is a uh, pork belly Hiroshima. This one I'm gonna making uh, a teriyaki fries. Those are shrimp taco, crunchy chicken taco, and this is a Japanese popcorn chicken. So with the Japanese popcorn chicken, I'm gonna hit it with uh, some hot Cheetos in here. I'm gonna finish up with uh, sesame seed on all of those and green onions. And should be it. Tree, can you explain what is the sandwich again? The those is a uh, spicy mayo Hiroshima. So it's oh, from, a spicy mayo Hiroshima. Yeah. Is that what your is this the famous Hiroshima I've been hearing about? Yeah. The, uh, those two is the most popular Hiroshima of the Q Grill. Okay. Yeah, so this one is a chicken skewer we make in-house. Mm -hmm. That we top it up with spicy mayo, tempura crunch, so you got a creamy and crunchy texture. And then uh, you got like flavor, a little bit from... Uh, sriracha. Sriracha. You need the sriracha sauce. <laughs> yeah. I've always heard about it, but I've never been, I've never had a chance to try it. There you go. And what is this one over here? Those are pork bellies. Oh, pork bellies here. Hiroshima. Okay. And how much would this box run for, roughly? I would say uh, $50 for the whole box. $50 for the whole box? Yeah. And that's a lot of food. All, All right. right. So, aside from that, we have the Noriyaki Hiroshima. So, we have the pork skewer teriyaki sauce, also with mayo and seaweed on top. And this one is a mango chicken Hiroshima. It's a, my personal favorite Hiroshima. Okay. And a seaweed on top. This one is a mango chicken. It's my personal favorite Hiroshima. So we have the mango salt, corn relic salsa with like half corn and pineapple on there. Have like a savory and sweet, tasty Hiroshima. now Calvin. Okay so, so what we got here is a teriyaki glazed chicken that we're kind of uh, finishing off on the grill here. Okay. It'll be accompanying our uh, pineapple egg fried rice that we're kind of putting together for the viewers at home there. Okay. Uh, so let's get to it. So we got our uh, wok that's going on here. We've got some extra herb, extra uh, virgin olive oil. Put some garlic on there. Ooh, it's getting hot. So Calvin, how did business start? How did you guys come up with with Q Grill? So um, when we started back in 2015. Okay. It's gonna be our uh, fifth, fifth year. Yeah, six, sixth year. Oh, actually. sixth year. Yeah, actually, uh, I forgot we started the summer before that. Um, there was nothing like it on the street, so we were looking to do something that was really unique, different, mm -hmm. and wanted to showcase some of our cooking. Uh, and there was a big gap for uh, some good street foods at that time. So what I'm doing here is we've got some regular uh, rice here. Uh, we're going to mix a little bit of um, organic uh, egg, free-run chicken egg. 
We're gonna mix that up into the uh, eggs, and it, actually, this is the real secret behind making a delicious uh, egg fried rice. I did not know that actually. I thought you make it separate. I've only so seen this chefs is make back it separate. To, uh, all the viewers at home, so you guys can make this delicious recipe. So once we got the garlic kind of seared off in there, so it's like nice, fragrant, kind of how you can kind of go to your crispiness as well. Uh, we're gonna throw in some of this, some of this egg here. You can uh, light this up a little bit more. We going drop in the fried rice. Let that go off a little bit. Go back to our chicken here that's kind of roasting on the grill. And Calvin, how did you guys come up with the name? So Q is actually derivative um, from our first restaurant that we have. It's Q Bistro. Yes. Uh, we base the ramen from the Kyushu Prefecture. Mm -hmm. So it's got, uh, we use the traditional uh, stylings, flavorings, techniques from the Q2 vector and we kind of just incorporate it into everything else that we've kind of done. So okay. So we body, the Q2 uh, uh, way of cooking, styling, flavoring. Um, along the way, we kind of added a little bit of a Hawaiian flair. Okay. Uh, just because, you know, it meshed very well with kind of our style and everything. Right, there. right. Um, you see, I thought it was pronounced Caillou Grill, but it's actually pronounced yeah, you know, Q that's, Grill. <laughs> that's kind of like the nostalgic of like everything. Everyone always asks us that, is it Q Grill, is it Caillou Grill? So it is actually Q Grill. And you know what, like, it, and, and we don't mind. It's uh, We don't mind answering those questions and everything you guys got about those things, so. All right. So we're just kind of searing off the egg here. You get a really fragrant egg garlic fried rice and head back to this uh, grilled chicken here. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Yeah, you know, in the kitchen, it's always, always, always going to be uh, Absolutely. super hot. <laughs> And now you have a few other locations, is that correct? Yeah, we got a couple sister companies that, uh, you know, originally we started off with the Bistro, which is kind of like the ramen that I was explaining. Right. Uh, and then we started off with the cart. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, we kind of expanded to a second cart. Uh, from there, we kind of expanded into a food truck. And uh, we're working on actually a West Coast division right now in Vancouver. Okay, oh wow. So it's, it's live over there right now. Uh, so if you're in Vancouver and you're watching this, go check them out, Cube Grill YVR. All right, so this fried rice is looking pretty good now. And you smell it. I smell it, so <laughs> the garlic. Yeah. All right, it really makes so a difference. Here, we're gonna put this back here. We're gonna get a little bit of uh, olive oil shot there. Throw in a little bit of onions. We're gonna let that go off a little bit. All right. So as that's kind of searing off, we're gonna add in a little bit of veggies. Here we got a little bit of sugar, just to enhance some of the sweetness in there. We got some Himalayan sea salt. Fresh cracked black pepper. A little bit of red onion for sweetness as well. And fried shallots. back here, chicken here. So Calvin, how did you, yes. what inspired you to start the restaurant? So I've always been in the restaurant industry myself. My family, it's been in my, it's kind of in my blood. 
Uh, I've been cooking for 17 years now. 17 years, wow. Yeah, and it's just, you know what, like, it doesn't cease to uh, amaze me how much more food there is out there. Right. So that's why we keep on, keep on cooking, keep on making new, fresh ingredients. All right, so I'm gonna go back to this uh, fried rice here. So you gotta make fried rice in a wok. That's the only way that you should make fried rice because it really gets and brings out the flavor from the inside. It allows for even cooking. Uh, and yeah, it just tastes really good. <laughs> I agree, actually. It's really difficult to cook it in a flat pan. Yeah, absolutely. And whereas with the wok, it, you can make it really hot. The temperature very hot and cooks absolutely. a lot faster. All right, so here we have our rendition of our home egg fried rice, uh, pineapple egg fried rice. Add the chicken that we have, that we grilled off earlier, teriyaki glazed chicken. We have our grilled pineapple right there. We got a little bit of cilantro that we're gonna hit it with. And just for a little decorative components, we've got the little bit of begonias there. And look at that. And then we finish it off with a little bit of toasted coconut. So, viewers at home, you guys can check this out. Enjoy. Hey, Tree, so what do we have over here? So, right here, we have a hot Cheetos corn. So, we have uh, the corn on top that we already uh, boil and grill for a bit. Then, we're gonna hit it with mayo on the side. So, we're gonna turn it around. So able to the hot Cheetos stick on there. Get it nice and saucy, right? Yep. Right now you're gonna probably go sleep well. So the hot Cheetos gonna be all around the corn, so you got the flavor of the cheesy and like crunchy on the side. Put it right here. Okay, I'm gonna finish up with mayo. A little bit of sesame seed. And the special right here is the flavor from the lamb. Oh, the lime, it brings out yep. the flavor. So it's half a little bit of sour kicking with the spicy and the juicy from the corn and the sweetness from the corn too. We have here our Q Grill Supreme box that is available. This is our premier drop that we're doing here with them as exclusive. I'm um, just going to go over it real quick again. We have our JPC Japanese popcorn chicken, um, our specialty Japanese fries. We have our tacos here, uh, shrimp and chicken taco. We've got a pork belly and our uh, spicy mayo, which is our premier Hiroshima. These boxes are available now um, on our food truck and they're on for $48.99. Here we have our specialty Hiroshima's five-time award-winning uh, food truck tours champions. Uh, these are the Hiroshima's that came out and are available. Uh, this is, we have the mango chicken here. We have the noriyaki, and then for a special summertime promo, we have our chili lime corn that's available. And and our last rendition here is our home cooked egg fried rice. Uh, with uh, Hawaiian chicken and pineapple fried rice. Calvin, now where can our members find you? So we're available right now at Beer Can, uh, but we're also at events all over the city all the time. Uh, we do catering, we do on-sites, we do weddings, birthday parties, anything you guys are interested, uh, head on over to our website at cubegrill.com and we can definitely help you guys out. All right, Calvin, thank you so much for having me and okay. Jerome visit your, your food truck. It's been amazing. It was so much fun. Thank you so much, Treat. Yeah, thank you guys. It was a pleasure to have you. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Bye now.